So voters in the polls on Tuesday went out for the primary election, and a lot of you emailed us this good question this week. We didn't we didn't get to answer it on TV, so we thought we'd take it on today. And you wanted to know why can you only vote for one party in Minnesota? And my guess is from reading these emails, the sense that people were getting is they were going to the voting booth and they were annoyed. Mm -hmm. They wanted to vote for, say, maybe I want to vote for the Democrats and the governor, but in the Senate I want to vote for the Republicans. Sure. They sure. kind of wanted to go back and forth. Because you That's see it on the ballot yes. and you might when you see one race that yeah. might be more competitive right. or you'd have a... How did you get this sense? Like, were there all caps emails? <laughs> were there exclamation <laughs> no, you, I, you, can, into the you can read, read through the lines right. pretty easily okay. in most of the emails All that right. come into the I good mean, question. I was just wondering. Just yeah. wondering about this. Um. But in most states that do, where you have to publicly declare one party, yes. you only get one ballot, so you can't really see the other side. Right. And so that's here, a little weird here, right? It's a yeah. little different here. Right. All these races. Because you have the choice, mm -hmm. and it's, one is the forbidden fruit. You yeah. can't go you to can the look. other side. You can look. But you and you're touch. very rare like that. Most places you do have to, as Christian said, you have to declare publicly what you what party you are part of and here here we don't um and so um i think what ha what would have happened is if you tried to fill out both it would have rejected your right. ballot yes. and tried to send it back to you but ultimately if you have to think about what the primaries are these are party decisions so it, this is we're not electing anybody during these primaries it's the parties deciding who they want to nominate so ultimately it's the parties people think that should decide who, what people in their own party should be able to make that decision. Is there any place in the country where you can just kind of bounce around? California all over the has, has some options to do that. Of but you the only one. But the, we don't believe in out there. Yeah. yeah. But you Lawless know, the theory, is, the theory is there, the idea that could happen is that, you know, one side, the Democrats might come in and then. Pass around on the Republican side, sure. and that Republicans might try and have a strategy on the Democratic side. There's nothing to stop side. you from doing that here. If there no, was some, there's not. Right, because you don't have to declare. Which right. is why there has been a move, and in fact, uh, yeah. there will be a change in the way that yeah. uh, primaries are done here in Minnesota. Yeah, in the, the, next yeah. the next presidential. The next presidential, not mm -hmm. in the state primaries, just okay. the presidential. But in 2020, you will have to declare before, if you want to vote in the presidential primary, that either a Republican or a Democrat, and it will be public information. People will be able to look up whether you're or not you're a Republican. Or Democrat. That's a big change for Minnesota. So how do you do that? Do you do that on uh, the day you go to vote? Uh, usually, usually I don't know if they figured it out yet. So, okay. ha so having come from Connecticut, right? Yeah. Uh, I do remember that Great when story. I registered to vote, <laughs> not that you're biased, when I registered to vote, you had to, when you registered, register as a Republican or as a Democrat I or see. as an independent. Yeah. The downside there, at least, I don't know if it's going to be true here, is that once you register with one party, uh, if you're registered as an independent, you can't vote in the primary. Uh, you don't have a say. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how that's going to happen. Yeah, and if everybody's yeah. already registered here, how do they change? Right. And I think that's something they're going to have to figure out. This right. is very new. This all came about after the 2016 caucuses and kind of the disaster with the lines and all that that was. Mm -hmm. So they changed it here. It's still the same, going to be the same for the state, but it's going to be a big shock to people's system when yeah. they show up. Yeah. I kind of yeah. hope they make you declare at the polling place mm. on voting day. Democrat! Republican! Yeah, that sort of thing. I want to be there for that. That sounds fun.